everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm super excited to be starting my brand new um, diamond painting, my drill with me, which is going to be um, what I have dubbed just the green girl. I posted a picture at the very beginning of what it looks like. And um, the canvas came pre-sliced into three different sections. So I'm actually gonna try what I've seen a lot of people do where they just go across and then they go up or down. So I've never done that before. I've always just done almost like weird little sections going around. So we'll see how this goes. I am gonna start with um, D, which is 934. Sorry if it's a little hard to see. My black permanent marker kind of died. So I've been using my teal one. And that is a very kind of foresty brown green color. And then I'm also working with three to start with, which is 500, which as you can see, that's before my black permanent marker died. And that is three, which both of them are kind of purple on here. So it's a little weird. So let me start with D. So what's a little weird about this is um, my last diamond painting was so um, well colored to what the actual picture was that this is kind of tripping me up a little bit because it's so different in color. Like you can see this verse, the almost maroon color that is the D on the actual canvas is so different. On the last one I did, everything was just perfectly um, colored where without any of the diamonds being on it, you could still tell like what the picture was, what the, all the colors were all of that good stuff. So this is a little different. It's a little more reminiscent of um, the Mewtwo I did or the um, Pikachu. The ones where it's just, it's very nicely labeled. Well, <laughs> the Mewtwo is not super nicely labeled. This one's pretty well labeled, but the Pikachu is pretty well labeled, I will say, as much as I complained about the T's and the crosses being similar. It really was not anything bad. This has a couple that are, I mean, we'll see what the colors end up actually being because that'll kind of make or break how I feel or if I mess up any of them being similar. Um, like you can see the slash here or the double slash here, they also have ones that go in the opposite direction. Oh, like you can see it up here. So see, that's that's a lighter pink and a darker kind of purplish color, so that's actually nice. Okay, so those are pretty different. I, was, I wasn't like super concerned, but last night when I was going through and um, doing the whole paint, like kind of just, you know, scouted, like, <laughs> what am I trying to say? As I was going through and organizing, I think that might be all of my D's. I'm gonna leave it out just in case I miss some because goodness knows I probably did. Um, I noticed that there were some that were pretty, oh, see what a pretty green is that? It's almost like an emerald green. And against the, uh, the other one, the more army green, ooh, that is really pretty. Oh, I really like that. It's a really pretty color. Now I will say, I don't know if you can see right here and right here, there's a little bubble in, um, the canvas and it goes all the way up. I'll post a picture of uh, the worst part, which is at the top. Now, I've been told to cut it. Not like cut the whole thing off, but I guess like cut a part of it off and smooth it down. Um, some of my more vets, if you have any suggestions on what to do with that, uh, that would be greatly appreciated. Hopefully you don't say iron because I've already started. <laughs> uh, but um, I do other one that came my navy or my blue uh, girl she has it as well it is not as bad as this one um, and I'm assuming that's just a printing error like it didn't get pulled tight enough or something like that um, I have yet to come across it so I'm you know I'm not sure what to do so if you have any suggestions why won't this one go straight okay well then I'm just gonna take you off <laughs> Um, these do move a lot, but I mean, like, I mean, it feels pretty sticky, so I'm, I can't, I've never come across anything like that peacock, and I will talk about that till the day I stop diamond painting. I love the peacock so much, but the adhesive on it was so bad. 
Which still, I mean, nobody, I guess, has dealt with that. I guess I got, like, the most bum um, diamond painting of it. I'm very happy that I did that one. It was so pretty. I have a drill with me. It's, um, is it the first one I did? Or no, it's the second one. I did my, <laughs> did a very poorly done one for my two cats. My yin and my yang cat is my very first one. It's very poorly done. My peacock is my first kind of full. And I've actually yet to actually record an entire drill with me. I've had um, corrupt files. I've had things that just didn't seem super good. And I don't, well, I don't, I don't know that I ever will. I mean, this is a pretty big canvas. And unlike people, well, like I always, I always shout out foreign service crafter. I love her to pieces. She has the princess one, and it's so much easier to section that off and be like, okay, guys, we're working on Ariel today. We're working on Belle, Sleeping Beauty, whatever. So it's a lot more interesting than this is, um, I believe, a cloud. I could be wrong. I believe that it's a cloud, and I'm not sure this is, like, beyond interesting for you guys. Um... I mean, let me know in the comments. I'm more than happy. I mean, I drill pretty quickly. And even though I do post every day, I don't post hour-long videos normally. So, see, they slide pretty easily. Hopefully that doesn't turn into a thing. Um, I do post daily. That will probably change at some point. But for now, I post daily. But I post shorter videos. So if there's any particular... Um, type you like, length, um, section, any of that stuff, let me know. I mean, <laughs> I don't mind sitting here just chatting away, but when I'm chatting with myself, it seems a little awkward. So if there's anything I can do to make the experience more enjo enjoyable for everybody else and that they want to watch it and listen to me, um, please let me know. Let's see. So today was a pretty busy day. Spent most of it outside of the house. I did finish Romantic Kiss, which I am so, so, so excited about. It's so pretty. The face turned out a little, I just, I wish they'd picked a slightly different color uh, for the faces, just because um, it's the same as the sky background a little bit. So from up close, I mean, but all of them from up close are not like the most detailed and easy to tell what they are but it just I wish it were slightly different if it were just the teeniest bit different that would have been absolutely perfect and one of the hands just didn't translate super super well but once again from far away it's not noticeable so I think it's absolutely beautiful I am so happy I got it I'm so happy I got a replacement of it because um, the waviness of that one was still there even at the end with all the flattening and the ironing and all of that. Um, and it, it didn't really lift, but if I'd had the other one, there's no way. <laughs> and I would have been so sad because I would have had to have framed it. Like I probably would have had to have it professionally framed so that they could push it down enough that you wouldn't have been able to notice any of the defects of it. Um, but yeah, I... I'm, I'm happy. <laughs> I'm very happy with the way it turned out. I'm very happy that I kept it, and I'm very happy that I went slower on it than I normally do. I really got to enjoy it. I probably did a lot more drill with me than I would have otherwise as well, just because, um, I mean, like, when I sit down and I drill for three hours, I'm not going to record that entire thing. And, um... I did actually towards the end because I went so fast through it, um, I did speed it up because I'm so excited and I want to post it and I want it to be amazing. So I did kind of speed it up. Why are these not even at all? Huh. Huh. These are not lining up correctly. I think some of them might be a little too big. Oh, yeah. See, these ones are bigger than these ones. Huh. Oh, well. Normal discrepancies, which is another reason why you just don't want to look at diamond paintings up close and personal. <laughs> the more up close and personal you are, the more likely you are to see things like that. From far away, you would never notice. 
Yeah, and so see those ones light up. Those ones I think are just tiny is the problem. Mm. I mean, everything seems to fit. No real complaints. This green is such a pretty color. Mm, I love it. Hi, princess. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. I'm happy the lighting is pretty good today, too. I had to close my blinds because the sun was starting to glare in off the table. I said my uh, dining room is um, south, I want to say, because what, the sun rises in the east, which is the back of my house. Yeah, so that would be south. So if it rises in the east, which is the back of my house, the side of my house on the left side would be south. Yeah. Oh my gosh, it's so embarrassing. I have no idea why. It took me until I was a teenager to realize that um, directions don't change with the way you're facing, that you, the front of you is not north. Like, for whatever reason, I mean, like, I kind of, I knew it wasn't right, but, like, I had no concept. Like, I couldn't wrap my head around why, um, like, just directional. Like, I just figured it should be that what is right in front of me is north. So giving directions by north, south, east, west didn't make sense because it should be, you know, which way somebody's facing. And, like, I knew that it wasn't correct, but, like, I just, for whatever reason, it took forever for it to click in my head how it actually worked, which is embarrassing, but goodness me. So I'm still sometimes like, okay, I'm not facing north right now. I'm facing west <laughs> with the way I'm sitting in my chair because east is behind me. And I apologize if the sun does not rise in the east and set in the west. I'm like 90% sure that's true because that sounds right. Um, but yeah, that's always been one of those things that's, yeah, I don't know, like everybody has their things like from a kid where they're like, gosh, I can't believe I thought that or I didn't know about such and such. And that was one of the ones for me that was just, that's kind of bizarre, I know. <laughs> Fun random fact about me. But yeah, so today for me is a Tuesday, uh, whenever this ends up actually going up, which means my daughter was home with me and I had to go run errands. I had to deliver some orders. Um, I had to go grocery shopping. And oh my gosh, it was so funny. I spent exactly with tax $150 on my groceries and the miscellaneous stuff I had to buy. And like literally it rang up and I went to pay and it said 150 and I was like, what? Exactly 150. I took a picture of the receipt and sent it to my husband. I was like, can you believe this? I can't believe that I actually went. I've never had that where it's just a completely flat even number before. So gosh, I don't even remember what the actual price was then, but I find I found that really kind of cool actually okay so I'm up at where the crease starts I'm gonna stop because whatever you guys tell me to do it comes to here I want to be able to do it and I mean I can always pull those off I was chatting instead of uh, actually paying attention to where I was going so deal with the rest of the three later once again I think I have all the D's yes And that's going to do it for today. I hope you guys all have a wonderful day, and I will see you all tomorrow. Bye!